Hello guys and girls, welcome to an installation of the replay mod for Minecraft 1.16.1. There's only three things what you need to download in order to install the replay mod and actually be able to render your own videos. You need the replay mod, you need the fabric installer, and then you also need FFmpeg. For the replay mod, all you need to do is click download and it will instantly download it. You want to keep the file. With fabric, you just want to click on download the installer again. And then the same here with the FFmpeg, apart from it will pop up with this version. You don't want this version, you want the official release version. So all you have to do is click onto it and then click on 4.3. And then same with that, click download and it will download it as well. Once you've got everything downloaded, go into your downloads file and drag everything onto your desktop. So you should have the fabric installer, you should have the FFmpeg and you should also have the replay mod. So the first thing you want to do is you want to extract FFmpeg and you want to extract here and it will create a folder like this. Once you've extracted it, you just want to rename this file FFmpeg. So now we've got all of these, you also want to click, double click on the installer for the fabric. This will now pop up. So you basically just want to make sure it's in your .minecraft folder, which will be in your roaming. So you want to make sure it's loaded on the current version. It's 1.16 and it'll create a profile. So I have to do is click install and there you go. So once you've installed that, you want to come down to your bar, search in percent app data percent and then click enter and it'll pop up your roaming folder. You want to click onto your Minecraft and then you've got here all of your Minecraft files. So what we want to do here is we want to drag these side by side. You want to drag over your FFmpeg into your .minecraft folder. And then you also want to create a new folder called mods. Open up your folder and drag over the replay mod. And that's pretty much everything done now. So all you need to do is come back down to your Minecraft launcher, launch it up, and it should automatically already have selected which version you want to choose. If not, select here and it will be on here for the fabric loader. Now click play and launch up Minecraft. Once Minecraft is loaded up, it should now have a replay viewer. And this will be where all your replays are saved. So in order to have any replays, you want to go into your settings and you want to make sure that single player is enabled if you're wanting to film on single player. If not, you can also do it on servers so you can record in here. So you can change these settings in here. I'd just leave it as it is. Everything should be fine. If you want to do any cinematics, it's best to show chat off, especially if you're on a server, just so that it doesn't show the chat. Come back, go into your world. I'm just gonna create a simple world. I'm gonna create a, um, a creative world. So once you load in a world, it will instantly start recording. So it will say recording in the chat and it will also say recording up in the top left. So I'm just going to walk about for a few seconds and you basically need it to record for a certain amount of time before you can do any renders. Especially obviously if you're playing it for a few hours, you'll get your good recording then. So you go escape, stop recording. You can also pause it if you want to pause it if you don't want to be recording other stuff. So once you've left your world, go into the replay viewer. Here your replay will lie. If it's a short clip like mine, it will already be here. If not, it might take a while to render in. So you might have to leave and then go back and it'll be in here. If you go into the settings and you turn off the recording indicator, it won't show in the top left. So then you can also record in OBS or whatever software you use for your Minecraft videos. And then you can go back into here to do replays. Okay, so you want to load up your replay. You want to pause it. So if you press T to move away and this is what happens. So you can pop up here and it will show you all the buttons, what you need to use. I might do a later video if anybody has any requests on how to do this, but I'm quickly just going to lay up a video and I'm going to show you how you would render it. So rendering with this path. So I'm just going to do a very, very quick cinematic shot. Once you've got the render that you want and you can double check it just by playing it over. This is just a short 10 second clip. All you have to do is click on render camera path. And then you can rename your file and you can place it wherever you want here. At the moment, it's currently in your .minecraft file in your percent up there percent. You can also change your settings and you can change all this. So once you come down, if you want it to render and you're happy with it, all you have to do is click render. It will come up like this. Shouldn't take too long depending on how long of a video you're doing. 
and then I'll get back to you and I'll show you the clip. So once it's done, it'll pop up with these two things. It will say open video folder and upload to YouTube. You can also turn it off so it doesn't show this again. So I'm going to turn it off because I don't want it to show it again and I'm just going to open up the video folder for the first time. Once you've clicked on open video folder, it will pop up with your .minecraft and your replayed videos. All you have to do is open up your video and check if everything is perfect. So there you go, that's how you install the replay mod for Minecraft 1.16 and have FFmpeg installed so you can extract your videos. The reason why I made this video is because I use this quite a lot in my own content. So if you want to check it out, all you have to do is click onto my channel and check out some of the videos. And if you like the content, please subscribe. The last thing I want to say is if you want to check how you actually use the replay mod and how to make good renders, on the replay mod website, there's also a tutorial on how to do it. You can also just YouTube it. There's plenty of tutorials out there. Other than that, I hope you guys have a good day and I hope to see you make some cool content using the replay mod yourself.